it's new set time for Lurkana, so let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. Yes, that's right. It's into the Inklands time. Yes, that's right. Let's grab one and two starter decks to kick off this week of Lorcana box openings. Um, we're going to be opening this. We're going to be opening a gift set. We're going to be opening a trove. And we got some tales today from a box opening, about a half box opening that happened from Gunsy 20. So um, check on that. That'll be some pretty cool thing. Uh, there will be a pretty cool thing that we can definitely check on out. So let's go down over to the open zone and check these two starters out and uh, kick this off uh, right, huh? Let's go. All right, here we are <clears throat> in the open zone. Sorry about the, the weird, like, I don't know, like matrix glitchy things happening on the screen. I don't know exactly what's going on with either OBS or my computer or whatever, but, well, at least it's working. So anyway, we've got one. We've got two starter decks there they are it's into the inklands we've got the moana scrooge mcduck ruby sapphire and the peter pan uh dalmatians uh amber emerald deck right here uh looking pretty neat looking like we're ready to jump right into them we're gonna start with the scrooge mcduck moana deck um we're just gonna take a look at the decks take a look at everything that's in the box and then you know you know what we want we want to open the pack and see what's in the pack too right so that's what we're going to do. Um, and then, of course, these will all be featured later in videos um, where we will be playing um, these these decks um, against each other. Me and Gunsy20, most likely, will be doing that. And there we go. There's our, there's our deck right there. And then let's see what else, what else, what else do we have in the goodies category uh, for the starter. All right, nothing else in there. Uh, there's this insert that does have the counters. All right, so we got our, our classic counter, uh, damage counter kind of things. We got those kind of rocking in there. It's pretty good. All right, so we'll pop that in. There we got our pack. It's a piglet pack. So we'll see what that goes on. We got our paper play mat. All right, paper play mat. It's pretty good. Pop that over there. And then our quick start rules, um, which I think will now be uh, expanded if I'm not mistaken, to telling uh, about, yes, locations, which is the new thing in this set. So, yes, you can send, send people to locations where they can do things and get uh, fun fun, uh, fun things there. Like, um, there we go. Moatini Island Paradise, right? Land of Moana, right? Anyway, so we're going to put those in here. And we're going to take, take a quick look, like I said, at the deck. At each card in the deck, <clears throat> this is a quick overview. It's the starter deck. The deck lists are literally on the sides of the boxes. So, like, you know, you can take a screenshot of that or whatever. Um, you know, that's literally every card in the deck that we're about to look at. But, yeah, we'll take a look at them, see if there's anything, like, really cool that jumps out at us. Um, and we'll just see. We'll just see what's, what's in a starter, right? Okay. So, we've got a Moana. Born Leader. That's the, the shiny rare. If I can get it to focus a little more. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. You've got the Scrooge McDuck. Richest duck in the world. That's the super rare. I like the fact that it's like all the shiny money signs. It's pretty cool. So um, <clears throat> just so we'll go over these here. The Moana Born Leader. Uh, whenever this character quests while at a location, ready all other characters here. They can't quest for the rest of the turn. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool thing. Pretty cool effect. And then um, I didn't get rich by being stupid. Uh, during your turn, whenever this character banishes another character in a challenge, you may play an item for free. It has evasive during your turn, um, which is pretty cool. It's a 3-5 uh, for 5 uninkable there and a 4-4 and a four, four for 5 inkable on the other side. We've got... Della Duck. There's two, three of the Della Ducks there. Um, that's pretty cool. We got Hey Hey's. Uh, we got three of the Hey Hey's. We've got the Kakamoras. There's three of those. There's Maui, Soaring Demi Demigod. All right. There's three of those. There's two Mini Mouses. Uh, that's from set one. So we got some set one cards in there. 
We got Moana. That's one, two, three. Uh, Moana Untethered Voyager. We've got a uh, rare Simba. Uh, two uninkable. One, one quest for three. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty neat one right there for like a, a weenie deck. I don't know about that in red, but uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, Vebby Vanderquack. That's three of those. And you get two dragon fires, which are pretty neat in the deck. So some extras there. Um, and two voyages. There's an action move uh, to up to two characters of yours to the same location for free. Um, not bad. Maui's Fish Hook. That's a rare. See, if you have a character named Maui in play, you may use this item's shape shift ability for free. The shape shift is tap it and pay two. Choose one. Chosen character gets evasive until the start of your next turn, or chosen character gets plus three power until the end of the turn. That's pretty not nice. That's pretty nice. And then it gets a Sumerian Talisman, which is pretty decent right there. All right, cool. And then we have Agba Marketplace from Aladdin. There's three of those locations there, um, which are pretty cool. So we'll put those on there. And then we got some Cogsworth. Um, <clears throat> from set two, Dewey, showy nephew, Duke, West, well, Weaselton from set two, two of those, Flintheart, it's pretty cool, uh, three Flounders from set one, so there's a lot of uh, the mix of that stuff, so three of the common Gramatala, um, Quest for quest for four, but I mean, if you're going to use the other Gramatala in the set, you might want the other one um, because you, then it can shift easily. It's like because I think that's the what's the one one there? Gyro Gearloose. Tap it to put an item card from the discard to the top of your deck. That's pretty cool with Scrooge. Scrooge's ability there, not bad. Huey, savvy nephew, <laughs> pretty good stuff there. Um, got support. It's two two for two. Quest for one. Three nephews says whenever this character quests, if you have uh, if you have characters named Dewey and Louie in play, you may draw three cards um, on a quest. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool thing. They got Louie here. Four of those. Uh, three, four for four. Quest for two as support, um, which is pretty neat. You've got Maid Marion. It's pretty cool. Uh, four, four for quest for two for five. Inkable. When you play this character, you get chosen characters minus two, um, which is not bad. Another Scrooge McDuck. Two for one, uh, for a one three quest for one. Not bad. You have Vault Door. There you go. And Matawini Island Paradise. There you go. It's pretty decent stuff. So, <clears throat> all in all, a pretty good. Pretty good mix of cards and mix of sets too in the starters. Those are things that are definitely happening. You're getting you're getting cards from all three sets now in your starter deck. So that's uh you know not too bad, not too bad. We got that. We're gonna leave that there for a second. We're gonna dive right into deck two, which is the amber emerald. And we've got the same the same things in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the deck, take a look at the cards. Now we're taking the pack and we're going to put the pack over here. This is a Jafar pack. So that's pretty good. Uh, but we're not going to do anything else. Like we never know what's in here because it's the same stuff as in the other box. So we'll put that to the side right there. And we'll take a look at the deck. Let's we'll see what's going on on this one here. We're looking like probably like we're going to have a lot of those same themes. Um, a lot of set one, set two cards mixed in. Um, with your with your others, so you got your two your two foils. You got Pongo, determined father. Once per turn, you may pay two ink to reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a character card, put it into play. Otherwise, put it in the bottom of your deck. Um, not bad. Then you got Peter Pan, Lost Boy Leader. Um, it's ink four ink <clears throat> four inkable. Uh, three three quest for one once per turn when this character moves to a location gain lore equal to that location's lore that's not bad not, not bad at all so you can do a lot of moving and gaining some lore yeah i think the new location um thing that they're adding in is a really cool aspect of it mm -hmm. 
So look at this. So we got some Dalmatian puppy action, right? It says, wherever they all come from, you may have up to 99 cap ca copies of Dalmatian puppy tail wagger in your deck. And there is one, two, three, four, five. All five different artworks, which is actually pretty cool for those that are in the collectors kind of thing. Um, not bad there. Um, so there's the artwork there. There's the artwork there. There's the artwork there. And there's the artwork there. And artwork there. All of the five artworks in the deck, which is pretty cool. So hold on just a sec. All right. Back after a little life happening there. We got some Kita Atlantean. This one's pretty cool because it's got like actual flavor text that is in the Atlantean language. That's pretty rad. We got Lucky, the 15th puppy. Good as new. The re reveal the three, top three cards of your deck after tapping or uh, exerting. Uh, you may put each character card with cost two or less into your hand. Put the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. And then when this character quests, if you have a four, if you have four or more characters in play, your other characters get plus one lore for the turn, uh, and a four cost in uninkable two three quest for one. That's not bad. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little combo action. So that's pretty cool. Um, we got Nani, two of those. We've got not, uh, three patches. That's pretty cool. More Dalmatians. One Pluto in the rare. It's a seven cost, uh, three eight, shift five bodyguard, and at the start of the turn, rem remove three damage from this character. Wow, that's actually pretty decent. Quest for two. That's uh, that's not bad. It's not bad. We got uh, three more Plutos in the uh, uncommon slot. Uh, so for your shift targets, uh, one uninkable, zero two. Um, you can exert it to pay one less. For the next character you play this turn, uh, which is kind of cool. And then uh, you've got the uh, quest for one. You got Rolly. You got three Rollies there. Not bad. You got two Tinkerbells. Not bad. Three Wendy, Wendy Darlings in there. Uh, two Neverlands. The, art's on, the art on these uh, locations is pretty cool. I like it. I dig it. You got three Cubbies. Two Don Carnage. New Flotsams in green. Helga Sinclair. That's a 2 1, 2 inkable. Quest for one when this character is challenged and banished. Banish the challenging character. So it's like, hey, you're gonna come for me, you're gonna you're gonna go with it, kind of thing. You get two horses from set one. Two Jaspers from set one. Jetsam, um, so that's a new 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 set three Jetsam and Flotsam in green there. Uh, Kit Cloud Kit Kicker, there's two of those. I got a Robin Hood. It's the rare four five six inkable quests for four. No other text. That's pretty crazy. You got a Starkey six six for seven inkable quest for three. This might be good in a ramp deck. Those some of those big beefy ones, you get a whole bunch of them. And you just start throwing down characters that'll stick around in a guaranteed quest for a lot. Could be a good strategy, maybe. See what's going on there. We got Wildcat. We got two of those. Two hypnotized from the last set. Three improvised from the last set. Excuse me. Um <clears throat> Two, strike a good match from the new set, and then three Deville Manor, which again is some pretty neat artwork. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. All right, so that was deck two, the other starter deck there. Take a look at all those cards that are in there. Not bad. Um, <clears throat> for the value, I'd say I think the value is still there for both of those decks, especially if you don't really have a lot. I think it's a, I think it's okay. Um, to grab the starters, they're definitely great binder fill if you're trying to fill out a set because um, you get a lot of these commons and uncommons. For whatever reason, I never find them in the packs. So, like, you're buying, you're, you're opening pack after pack after pack after pack, and, you're, you know, you're trying to find, like, your Dalmatian puppies or something like that, 
and you just don't really see them, you know, open in the packs, I think it's okay, you know, to grab these starters again for collectors and like kind of stuff. And even value, there's some cool cards in there. Um, even as a, even just starting out, you know, you can grab them and have a good time. Before I open these two packs, though, Gunsy 20 opened about 14, 15. 15. Yeah, we went to 15 different packs out of his box. And boy, oh boy, was there one that was pretty good. And it's going to fly into view right now. Check this out. There's a Chernabog. Enchanted. Came out. It's a 10 uninkable. Look at the art on that thing. It's awesome. It's so lucky. Um, nine, nine, quest for three, power of evil. For each card in your discard, pay one less to play this character. Summon the spirits when you play this character. Shuffle all card character cards from your discard into your deck. It's this is just daring somebody. Hey, you know what? You know what you should do? You should you should uh you should be prepared for me right now. That's what that's what this this card says. It's crazy. And if I can get it again, it's like it's hard to... There we go. Look at that. Look at that artwork. That is pretty killer. And a great, and a great, great, great pull. Very cool. Put that, put that over there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see. Can I be as lucky in these packs? I don't think so. would love to see an Enchanted out of a starter oh, man. deck. Man, Enchanted out of a starter deck would be awesome, right? Um, well, this one's a little hard to, to open. you got to do the, the pull this way and then down. I don't know, the pack's like ripping itself to pieces. Jeez. Open, please. All right. Pick up the pack you just did not want to open. All right, so I'm going to put you over there. Okay, so we've got a Maid Marion. We're going to move this over here a little bit. We're going to move it like that. There we go. We've got a Maid Marion. Razul. Vebby Vanderquack. Sir Hiss. The Queen, Quick Patch, Starkey, getting to our uncommons now. Sorcerer's Tower, that's pretty cool. I like the, I like the artwork on that one. That's pretty good. I like it. Pluto, Friendly Pooch. In the rare slot, Pride Lands is a oh, rare. Oh, awesome. So characters get plus two defense while here. If you have Prince or King character here, you play one less to play characters, period. And lying home. All right, cool. Neat. That's pretty neat. I like that one. And then the other rare in the rare slot is Audrey Ramirez. It's got whenever this character quests, ready one of your items. Spare parts. Got five inkable cost two five quest for two. Pretty cool. And then I made Marion again on the other side as a nice little foil. So that's pretty good. That's a nice pack. It's a nice pack. I'll definitely take those as far as uh, extras in a starter deck. Let's see what the Jafar fact has to say to us. It has to say I'm doing the same thing, and it's barely able to be opened. I'm going to do. I'm gonna try to open it up upside down. Nope. Man. All right. I know I have to open it the wrong way. Mike is yelling at me. <laughs> He's like, don't do it. All right, there we go. We got it open. Put you over there. Okay. Bebby Banderquack is coming on in. Sir Hiss. The Queen. Man, the Queen's just rocking around. Yeah. Captain Amelia. Helga Sinclair. Quick patch. Ooh, good one. Lutini, Island Paradise. Okay. You got another one of those. Yeah. Nala. Pretty cool. Sumerian Talisman. Rare in the rare slot. That's Huey, Savvy Nephew. Um, that was from the starter deck. And a legendary. Uh-oh. What is it? It's a Perdita, Devoted oh, Mother. That's the one I wanted. Nice. That's the one I wanted. That's great out of the starter deck. Um, it's a six uninkable, one six, quest for two. When you play this character and she quests, you may play a character two or less from the discard for free. Loving that in a weenie deck. And then shiny kick cloud clicker kicker for uh, the full slot. And that's pretty good. That's pretty neat. So, yeah, I am very happy with 
with those. Um, I got to make a Dalmatian deck now. Yep. Well, no, I definitely want to do. I definitely want to do the Dalmatian deck because it's one of those things where um, I love a weenie deck. I just love him. I don't know what it is about him, but I absolutely love putting together decks where it's just like, oh, hey, here's little guys. And then all of a sudden there's like 10,000 little guys. And then like, you know, you're either doing damage and magic or whatever, or, um, you know, or going going real wide and Transformers TCG um, is the, the deck I used to to uh, to play in the uh, the big tournament. So that was pretty cool. Um or, or even this, you know, because like, I, I could see it. I could see it happening. You just overwhelm. You get a whole bunch of board presence. You know, like, yeah, they're real squishy and you can, you know, you can get hit. You know, you, you got the, you got the tanks that can hit you. You got all sorts of other crazy stuff that come at you. Um, but I don't know. I still love, them. I don't know. It's just something about it. But anyway, let's go to the wrap up here and see what we can see. Let's do it. All right. There we are, guys. That was good. That was good. Uh, it was good packs out of the starter decks and the good starter decks in general. So uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, what do you think about that awesome pull right there? That's some that's some craziness from Gunsy20. Um, so we, we actually did the math on it. Well, not the math, but the calculations, I guess, where we have, I pull the Simba at a set one, um, Team RTFC still reigning supreme, set two, there's another person that pulls, a uh an enchanted at a set at a set two and then we got gunsy 20 here uh representing the gtc with a pull right on right on the first day we're even pulling anything out um of into the inkland so that's pretty awesome um it's big big enchanted we we still have yet the rest of his box and he's already hit also what was it uh nine other either supers or enchanteds and you have at least or not enchanteds but legendaries but you have at least two more enchanted uh, legendaries two more legendaries and like yeah like seven supers yeah like seven supers <laughs> it's it's like it's it, the the uh, amount of those cards coming out of that box is pretty crazy um we have the uh the serial number uh what is it the serial number tinfoil hat thing going on he's got the one that isn't that serial number so apparently like the cards are flowing or something i don't know i don't know whatever is going on with that but he's getting a great box we still got more stuff we got we got this to open up so that'll be later on in the the midweek or wednesday we're going to open up this one and then we're going to finish off the week with a trove and we got the trove right here ready to rock on friday um interspersed with all of that is going to be some more video game content too so uh, if you're here just watching this and you go hey what else do you guys do we do video game stuff we play all sorts of fun stuff we're going to be doing atari vcs we're going to be doing um uh polymega we're going to be doing evercade we do all sorts of crazy stuff um so keep an eye on the channel here uh for that but right now we're at the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. We've got to do one thing and one thing only, and that's thank every single member of the Good Times Club. So let's do that now. Thank you to the Ever Canadian, to Crimson Cross, to Cured Games, to Chris Westerman, to Phantom Fiction, to Skeletrex, to Lloyd R. Jim, to Papa Pete, the, the Intellivision Gamer, <coughs> to Ken Lecure, to Mr. Shuey, to John Willig, and to Gunsy20, who's right here. All right. Uh, thank you guys all so much for being members, <coughs> supporting the channel, for having Awesome things like 1080p StreamYard right here. And of course, <coughs> for the awesome comments and all sorts, of, all sorts of other things. I gotta go get water before I choke myself. We'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, he's Gunsy20, and we will see you later. <coughs> Take it easy, guys.
rtsc.bakingicecream.com.